Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. We're going to learn about God's words today. Um, let me ask you, boys and girls, how many um, prophets' names do you guys remember? We've been learning about prophets' names these days, and we're going to talk about prophet Hosea today. Hosea, he was a faithful man. Hosea was a prophet during a time when the northern king of Israel was wandering further and further from God. They stay away from God. The kings of Israel were very evil, very bad. And each one of the king, they led the people to disobey God more than the last king had. God sent many prophets to warn the people about their sin, but they never listened. And Hosea was one of them. Prophet Hosea, he received the message from God and he was trying to tell the people. And God planned to use Hosea's life to show what God's love for his people looks like. God wanted Israel to know how he felt about their wicked behavior and worship their own idols. So, God told Hosea to marry an unfaithful woman. What does that mean? That means Hosea's wife, she left Hosea and lived with other men, and which caused Hosea much pain. So she ran away from Hosea, his, his husband, and loved other men. Hosea's sadness was, was a picture of the sadness God. And God felt when his people run after false gods and they don't obey God and they don't listen, they don't pay attention to God and they just focus on their desire. And God's covenant with his people was similar in many ways to a marriage covenant between a man and woman. When a man and a woman get married before God, like your mom and dad, Da, 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 da. They get married and they promise to love one another until their life ends and work together to love God and listen to God's words and obey Him. They promise to stick together and obey God, but not to chase after other people, just like Hosea and his wife. So let's see this um, video together and we can talk about more after that. God wanted to send a message to his people. So God gave instructions to the prophet Hosea. Ooh. Marry a woman who will not be faithful to you, God said. Be a father to her children. God was going to use Hosea's life to show his people in Israel what God's love for them was like. Hosea's wife would love other men instead of Hosea, just like the people of Israel loved and worshiped other gods instead of the one true God. God was telling Hosea to do something very difficult. It is hard to love someone who doesn't love you back. But Hosea obeyed God. He married a woman named Gomer. Gomer had three children, Jezreel, Loruhama, and Loama. Each child's name had an important meaning. Jezreel was the name of a city, so this name was warning to Israel that God was going to punish Israel. They would be defeated by their enemies. Loruhama, which means no mercy, let Israel know that God was not going to show them mercy anymore. They would get the punishment their sin deserved. Loama, which means not my people, told the Israelites that they were no longer God's people. They had broken their covenant to love and worship God. Gomer was not faithful to Hosea. She often ran away. In the same way, God's people turned away from him. They worshiped false gods. God told Hosea to go after his wife. So Hosea found Gomer and paid to get her back. Stop being unfaithful, he said. Gomer had not loved her husband like a wife should, but Hosea loved her anyway. God gave Hosea a love that would never give up. 
God wanted the people of Israel to understand that they were like Gomer. The Israelites did not love God like they should, but God loved Israel anyway. Hosea warned the Israelites that God was going to judge them for their sin. He pleaded with Israel to turn back to God. Come, let us return to the Lord, he said. Let us strive to know the Lord. God was going to punish the people for turning away from him, but he would keep the promise he made to Abraham. Abraham's family would be a big family, and one day, Jesus would come from Abraham's family. Just like Hosea paid a high price to get back his wife who did not love him, God had a plan to get his people back, no matter the cost. God used Hosea's unfaithful wife to show the people of Israel that they were unfaithful to him. God gave Hosea a deep love. Hosea was willing to buy back Gomer even after all she had done. God's love is deep and it never gives up. He goes after his people and paid a great price to get us back. What do you think about the video? Isn't that so sad? She ran away from her husband, Hosea. God had promised to love his people and never leave them. They broke their promise to God. Hosea's wife, she did not keep her promise to Hosea and her unfaithfulness was a picture of Israel's unfaithfulness toward God. And God gave Hosea the love and the strength to keep chasing after his wife and loving her forever despite her behavior. That helps us picture of God's love for his people and for us as well. God loves us so much and he's keep waiting and waiting and waiting until we come back. God is faithful to his people even when they did not love him, even when they don't worship God. How about you? When you come to church, do you really worship God with your heart, with your mind, and with your strength? When they do the praise, how do you do? Do you really think about God and focus on God and follow the motion and sing it out? When you sing, I want you to think about the lyrics that how great our God is and I want you to sing it with your heart, but I want you to think about, are you really focused on God when you sing? God loved us in an incredible way and he has endless love for us. But how about us? When you worship, I want you to focus on God, just like Hosea. He keep waiting and waiting and he focuses on God and he loves to listen to God's message. He goes after his people and pay a great price for to get us back. When we believe that Jesus died for our sins and rose again on the third day, God forgives our sins and gives us new hearts so that we can love him. Our new hearts give us the power and desire to worship God and obey Him. Let me ask you, boys and girls, why do we have to? Why should we obey God? Because we should obey God because He made us and He loves us first and His plans are good and perfect. Leaving God out of our lives, I want you to think about it. Without God, how can you live? Leaving God out of our lives is also very dangerous, okay, boys and girls? He's the light, and we have to walk with Him in the darkness every time we stumble. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you so much for your perfect faithfulness, love, and an unending love, Lord God, and give us courage and strength to, to obey you, Lord. Even uh, when the world around us try to like pull us away from you, Lord, help us to be with you and stick with you and help us to worship only 
your name, Lord. So be with us and use us in your plan to spread out your love and your good news, your gospel, and Jesus' love, Lord God. We love you, and I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, boys and girls, you guys did a great job, and hope you have a great Sunday. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.